welcome to Melolan. And welcome to my living room. <laughs> well, soon it'll be a sunk in living room. Now, check that out. Can you do that in your apartment? Can you dig down to the next apartment and build you a whole nother apartment? I don't think so. So, yeah, this is my living room. And when I sit on my couch, this is my view. In the wintertime, which I'll call wintertime, you know, it'll be snow up in those mountains. It's like beautiful. So this is the view from the other side of what I call Wakanda of the West. And this is the entrance, you know, I'll make my van into a little store there. And all out there, we're going to be selling farms. I'm calling the farms Family Food Freedom Farms. You understand? You have a, a small lot like about the size of a professional um, tennis court that's about a sixteenth of an acre and you'll put up a dome we'll put up a dome for you like i showed you early but actually about twice as large and um you know you'll have free water you'll have free power and we will grow it for you. If you buy the business, it'll be a virtual business. Because I am a temple, I will have my priests grow and do all the, that type of work. You can stay your ass home. Just put up the money, which is $8,000. I think I'll go down from $26,000 to $8,000. You understand? And what you'll do, you'll either grow hemp or you will grow our specialty foods. If you're interested in foods, I'll get into what I mean by specialty foods. But, um, you know, we'll build you a dome like I did over there, like I said, about twice as big. So you'll have a space to come out here and to sleep in or take a vacation. You will do the administration, the paperwork of your business, and you will take care of your side of your taxes, all that type of thing. We will build, run, and maintain the business. We will do all the growing because, again, I'll have specialty foods and things. I can't have people that's not trained by the temple growing and touching the food. That's going to be part of the niche is that we will have priests or whatever, you know, growing the food, not a whole bunch of, hey, bro, you want to grow some food, man? Hey, man, we're going to make some money, man. Hey, let me go take a piece over here, man. You understand? We're going to grow food for our people and it's going to be you know, like Mama Love, you know, how we used to, well, I don't know if y'all remember, but we used to say Mama put her love in the food, you understand? So imagine what's in your food now. It ain't even food no more. It's some GMO garbage. Matter of fact, they even pass GMO now. They are talking about RNA, RNA changing foods. What are you eating? You understand? So tomorrow's also Father's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been a father to my elder children. I've been too busy thinking about leaving them a legacy, which is the kung fu I developed, the healing system I developed, and the other systems I developed. And now I've, you know, purchased land, which could be in the family forever, which when I finish with it, this land will be worth millions of dollars. So let me think. Um, I could have stayed around and worked a job and be probably be dead by now 
because I had two operations before I was 18. Before I was 18, I had two operations, yeah. So I probably would have been dead because nobody around me knew how to heal my body. Nobody around me. My mother loved me to death, but she didn't know nothing about healing bodies. Back then, when I was a child, people call you a health freak if you was into health and, you know, eating good. He's a health freak. What kind of shit is that? So you don't even understand the reasons I left. When I had the second operation, I was like, I'm out. Fuck this. I had to learn how to heal my body. Because nobody, love me or not, could do it for me. Till this day, everybody I know, everybody I know, none of them, not zip, zero children, brother, sister, none of them know nothing that I know. Nothing. They've never even asked me. So now I have land. I'm going to leave this to my grandchildren. My children, yeah, they probably hate me or whatever, whatever, whatever. You understand? But they all, you know, all them back there into the Bible. <laughs> you understand? So the Bible say, I read it too, you know. The Bible say, leave an inheritance for your children's children. So let me think. I couldn't leave you a job. I couldn't leave them welfare. You understand? So, um, that same book talk about land. The gold in that land is good. Well, guess what? I can leave land. It might be way 3,000 miles away. But if this land is making millions and millions of dollars, guess what? Them dollars is just as good in New York. So y'all can talk about me all you want. Keep talking, keep talking. While y'all all fat and sick and living in a square apartment. Listen to the word, apartment. I got brothers here. I'm waiting for the sisters. The sisters is coming. But I got brothers here, and we live in like this. We got electricity. We got food. You know, there's a few people around here. You know, you see trucks driving by and shit. But look, this is what this is my front yard. So okay, I talked enough. I'm just beginning. I only been here what? I only I think I've been here two weeks on and off. I just came back from LA and I except for this tent, except for my assistant's tent, this particular one, I set up the first one and it's over there all broke up. But except for that, I'm I'm d i have done everything myself. Literally by myself. I put that tent up, I put the dome, I made the dome, I made the uh what you call that, pyramid. So wait till I have help. I've been asking for help all my life. And look who's here. So I do have some good brothers with me, though. And people, are, now that I have land, people are starting to dig in their pockets. Oh, you really serious? Uh, no, I've only been doing this 40 years. So yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> And one more thing, brothers and sisters, if you come out here, we'll give you a place to live. You understand? We can live. We can live good once we're growing food. Now, if you come out here now, it's going to be rough. I'm, I'm straight up. You, you look at it. It's a little rough. I'm living in a van right now. But over there, when I build that, I'll be living in my dome. We can build your dome in a day. But if you come out here acting niggerish, acting stupid, if you a man, you come out here and there's children and women out here and you do something that you ain't supposed to be do. See that hole in the ground? Enough said. I'm out.